everybody, uh, it's Gina. I want to welcome you to the Firefly Studio 67. Uh, today I've got um, something new and different to share with you guys. If you've been following me, you know I mentioned um, a little while back that I was going to be doing a challenge. And so today is that day. Um, I have decided to name this challenge Five on, the, on a Dime Challenge. Um, no particular reason behind that other than um, I collaborated with um, Martinia from, I know I'm probably not going to spell, pronounce this right, Tinquila Tin, Tin, Tin Studio. And we came up between us um, with an idea of, <clears throat> of taking five random items um, that we would create something with. So I mulled it over in my mind and um, that's how I came up with the five on a dime challenge. Um, the reason for this challenge is I wanted to do a challenge where um, the five items are something that are readily available that most of us already have so that we don't always feel the need to go out and buy things to create. And I'm hoping that this is actually going to spark more creativity. Um, but as this progressed, I asked a couple of other um, ladies to join in. Um, and so it's there's a team of four of us now. Um, and so these are who are involved. Um, Martinia is the Tinquila Studio. I think that I hope she'll tell me the right pronunciation, Nikki Adagun, and Angela Kerr. Everybody has a YouTube channel. You're probably familiar with all of these ladies. They're super talented. Um, and I'm just delighted that they were happy to collaborate with me on this because um, I've never done anything like this before. And so, as I said, you know, as time goes on, we may... Um, make changes to it. We just are going to give it a try this month and then we'll we'll discuss between us, you know, if we think that there's anything that we can do to improve it. Um, so this month um, I decided to take the lead and choose the five items for it. Um, now this isn't going to be like Nick the Booksmith's challenge where, you know, these five, five items are all that you can use. Mine is going to be very loose because I don't want people to be stressed out. Um, it's I want it to be enjoyable, but the whole thing behind it is for us to start looking at what we actually already own and stop feeling as though we've got to keep buying and buying because we don't. We've we've most of us have got enough in our stash that we could uh, craft until they put us in the ground, and we would probably still have bukus of stuff that's got to be hauled off. <laughs> so let's get on with the challenge and um, check these ladies out. I'm going to have the links below to their videos. And as I said, we're going to try to do this once a month. And then, you know, if we feel that we need to be a little bit tighter on the rules or maybe we'll just change it all together. I don't know. Um, as I said, this is new for me, um, so just bear with me, and uh, hopefully this is going to be fun for you to get involved in, because I'd love to see what everybody else makes. Um, so let's get going. Um, these, I'll put their links in the description box. These are the items that I chose. Surprise, surprise, you didn't see this coming, did you? The um, pack of window envelopes. I wanted to put a window envelope in, my, in this month's challenge, a safety pin, some lace, any lace, and I may not use this, I've just pulled this out for to show you, a paper doily, and buttons. Because I feel like most of this we've all got on hand. Um, granted, you guys don't have a thousand of these, but, you know, <laughs> I'm sure you've got something. Um, you've got one of these laying around. So let's get started. So these have been tea dyed. Um, I did a batch of them a couple of weeks ago. So 
Um, so yeah, I haven't, let me just make sure we're all in frame here. Let me get some lighting going a bit better. Um, I haven't actually made this in advance, but what I did do was I was playing around and I thought I wanted to do something slightly different because um, I've used these quite a lot and for quite a while. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. So what I came up with was you could take this and fold it over, leaving room, hopefully, to run a, a stitch or at least a, a little bead of glue. So I folded that over like so, and then I cut along that, but I don't cut through this flap. Let me just grab some scissors. Like I said, this you're not limited to these five items. It's just that I wanted these to be in it somehow. And each month, those items will change. Okay, so what we can do now... Is, oh no, that's what it was. I was thinking that this would be our flap on the journal page that we could glue down, and then that way you'll end up with two little pockets. But in doing that, we somehow need to cover this so that we have the opening, but everything will stay secure. So let me just grab some paper here. And this is some of the uh, Practical Beekeeper paper from Seneca Pond Crafts that I'm going to be using. So, let's see. Because I don't want those, I want those to be separate. So I'm just going to need a small piece there. About three and a half. Let me just... Here we go. Let's see. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do it like this, and then that way, when I fold that back over, that's going to be fine, because that's our little flap there that will be glued down. So when you open it, just have that little bit. And then the same thing, I need to do the same thing there. Yeah, I think I'm going to be, uh, somebody was saying when I, t when I had told them that um, I had purchased a thousand of these, they said, well, that's going to be a challenge in itself. And I, at the time, I wasn't even thinking about creating a challenge, but sure enough, it has ended up. Um, I think I'm going to be really wrecking my brain to come up with ways to use these. I do like the window envelopes in a journal, though. I think they're really nice. Just put a little bit more to cover up that blue. I don't like that. 
and then I'm just trimming off anything that's come over that might keep it from closing. So we'd have our page in the journal, and then that will be glued down, and then you can open it up, and then that way you've got this pocket and that pocket. So let me make a journal card. I've got to use the doily. So how am I going to use that doily? Well, I think I will get some ink. Just going to, let me make sure I'm in frame. Um, it's a very, very gray day here, guys, so that's why the lighting's not good. Let me open this blind and see if that helps a little bit. So I think what I'll do, because this is the way it's going to op open up, I'm going to put a little bit of it on this and then the other on the front. Yeah, I'm, I've been, um, you know, ever since I had done the, um, or started the 100 day challenge, I thought, well, I really want to get involved in the challenge, but I don't want to commit to 100 days. That, that's um, too, I just, I can't do. And I tell you, I've really struggled. There's a lot of uh, challenges for card makers. There, I found a lot of those when I did a search, but i got to say, um, I didn't see a whole lot when it came to, um, and then this one I'm just going to have, I'm going to put it here. Um, I couldn't find much at all, so if anybody knows where a good resource for more challenges, um, do share, because um, I'm sure that there's others that would like to, um, to get involved as well. And I really hope you guys will join in on this and let me know. When you've done something or posted it, or um, uh, you know, if you've done a video following, uh, you know, participating, let let us know so we can see what you've done because I I'm really really eager to find new ideas for this. Believe me. Um, Okay, I'm going to use a bit more of this. Sorry, I'm thinking, that's why I've gone quiet, um, just thinking I've got this lace as well that I must get into this, so I'm going to need to leave enough room to put a bit of lace in here.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down now because this is flapping around. I think it's going to be easier to to get this done if I've got that attached. So you can go ahead and glue those together. And now I need to get this lace. And I'm probably going to have to switch over to a smaller lace. I, um, I think that one's going to be too big for this. I had originally thought I might do like a pocket, but I'm not going to do that now. So I'm going to want some lace, I think, on this side. I want to put a bit more of the bees scattered, I think. I love this. It's got some of the teal in it. It's a really pretty paper. So I'm thinking I'm going to put that there. And I might even do a bit of stitching on here before I put the lace, maybe. Or maybe I'll stitch the lace to it. Could do that. Could stitch the lace on there. I'm just thinking that it might be kind of nice on this side to um, leave that for journaling. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, some inking. Forever forgetting to do the inking. Okay, so that's how it's looking so far. So now let me think. I've got to get a button, the pin, and some lace still in here. So I'm going to actually take this to the machine because I feel like it needs some stitching to um, kind of finish this off and then we will decide what to do. So I'll be right back guys and I'll show you what I've done with, with the machine. Okay guys, I'm back, and this is how it looks so far. I've just run the machine around it. It just, you know, I think it finishes off a little bit more. Um, it, I feel like it still needs something, so I thought I've got this little bee that I had stamped on some uh, muslin. And then I've got this little bit of a, it's like a, it's almost like cheesecloth, but it's, you know, wider. I, I don't know, it's very unusual, but I picked it along the, up along the way somewhere. And I just thought maybe I'll just do like a little, a little cluster that could go. I don't know, maybe right in there, and then maybe I'll have the pin. The pin doing some, oh, the pin and the button, that's what I could do. Let me see if I've got a tiny, tiny button. That's a really thin one. 
let's see, maybe I can just put that on here. Hmm. Maybe I'll just stitch a button and then I'm thinking maybe just a tiny little tag. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what I've got in my stash, guys. This is my little tags I cut up. Maybe a little crafty colored one? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that, I think it might need the... Gosh, this is proving to be more difficult than I thought. And this is my, and I, I came up with this challenge. <laughs> you would think... You know, most people would be like, okay, I'm going to have a challenge, so let me think about this in advance. But I think you guys know by now I'm not quite that organized. So I like that better, I think. I think this is, but then again, maybe, maybe two of them on there might be quite cute, just as a little in the background. Yeah, I might, I might do that. I'll just hang on to it. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like... Let's see. It just... It, I don't know. I just feel like it needs something else. Maybe... A bigger piece of fabric in the back. Let me try that. And then maybe that just kind of, um, I don't know, I feel like maybe a wood button. That's too big, isn't it? Because I want the B. I think I think that's gonna look nice. And then maybe like a little tag with the safety pin or maybe let me see. I've got some beads. I'm trying to find, I got this little container of, I'm just thinking maybe, maybe, maybe I want to just scrap the whole tag idea all together and just do like a tiny bead and then maybe one of these kind of, um, Would that work? Oh yeah, I think I might do that. that. I think that might be better than I think the tag's just going too too much. Okay, so I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna stitch around this with some black, just because I think that it's gonna make that stand out just a little bit more. <coughs> Hopefully. Um, that will start to come together. So I'm going to run to the machine. I'll be right back again. Okay, guys. I ran that to the machine and just stitched around that. And I think I'm just going to glue that there. And then I've got the little bead on the safety pin. So that's what the little pin looks like, and I'm just going to attach that there.
Oh gosh, that doesn't want to go through. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> and then this is one of the images from the Practical Beekeeper. I'm just going to put that in there, so that, and then I want to make, so this will flip up in the journal. Let me ink some of these edges a bit more. I think it's about time I ordered some ink. This is starting to get um, a little bit dry, I think. Okay, so <clears throat> now I want to make something for here. I've got this little Rolodex card that I think is going to fit perfect inside of that, and then that way it will stay out. Okay, so I'm just going to ink this up a little bit, and then I want to stamp on that. Uh, let me see. Oh, there's my ink. I thought it would be nice to have a little word that tab. I think I'll use this um Discover. I think that will fit. Yeah, that will fit fine. Oops. That lined up. We can see, and that's going to just get that. Um, that. Let me put a little bit of paper on here. I'm going to close that. I'll end up inking with that, and <clears throat> that's a no no. <laughs> it's very dark. <laughs> I've done it before, have a couple of my inks open, and and just uh, end up putting my brush in the wrong color. You'd think you'd only do it once, but now every now and then it happens. Okay, so I really like how that looks because in the journal, once this is glued down, that's how it's going to look. And then you've got the journal card here, and then this will flip up. And you could put a photo here. You could even do some journaling on this. Then you've got that little Rolo mini Rolodex card, and then you've also got the journaling back here. So I'm happy with how that's come out, guys. Very, very pleased about that, and I hope that you've enjoyed this challenge, and I hope you'll participate, and if you do, please let me, um, let me know your channel, and I'll check it out, or, you know, if you don't have a channel, just um, post an image, and I'll, uh, that way I'll know who's participating with us. So, again, guys, check out these ladies below. And I'll put their links to their channels. 
And thank you guys so much. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that this has inspired you to just really take a look around at what you've got and uh, how you can make better use of the things that, that you've already got in your studio. So thank you guys again, and I will see you back here very soon. Bye!